Welcome back to another episode of the Evo 6 STI Killer presented by Coilrad. Today is Dino Day. We are back at On Point Dino, getting ready to tune this Evo. Yes, I am so pumped. And if you guys are looking for specs on this engine, make sure to check out our engine build and previous videos. I will give you a quick lowdown. This is the G25 550 Turbo. So Dave just tuned his on the G30 660. I'm not expecting big numbers out of this thing. I think around mid 400s is gonna be the sweet spot for it. We'll see, it is a smaller frame turbo. So without further ado, let's get this thing fired up because I am pumped. Well, Sasha's just finished tuning this thing on the gate. So on the wastegate, just wastegate pressure, which I think was 10 PSI. And what do you think? We're, we're not doing so bad. We're at 300 wheel and around what? 240 torque at 10 ish PSI. 11 and a half. 11 and a half. That's not, not bad. Not bad, I yeah. I think that's not bad at all. So uh, what's next here? We're gonna hook up the, the boost controller and then you're gonna ramp stuff in. Yeah, what do you think this thing should be running for boost? I'm hoping we can push like 25 PSI on this thing. You guys can tell by the look on my face in that previous dyno poll, we have ourselves a serious issue. Something has gone wrong. Sparks flew out and uh, we didn't put a hole in the block. I don't think so because it does still crank. It does not start. We have, a, and by cranking it, you can hear it. It has very, it sounds like there's no compression. So if I turn it over right now, you can kind of hear this thing. <laughs> So, yeah, we're thinking it may have lifted a head gasket. It certainly, you can see by the hose here, it almost blew it off the rad. So, and there's a bunch of coolant on this side here. It's really hard to see. Um, so there's coolant down there. It puked a bunch of oil out here. So I think it just like pressurized everything. There's slight remnants of like almost a milky looking substance here, which would indicate that uh, coolant and oil were mixed. But man, this is not <laughs> the result I was hoping for. And I'm a little bit baffed as to what could have gone wrong because I feel like we torqued the head down properly. Um, but you know what, that'll be for another episode. We'll have to take this thing apart, which is going to be fun and, uh, and diagnose everything. The good news is, on the last pull, we were making some serious torque. We were up to 320 foot-pounds of torque and we were on our way to, I think, making around 350 at the wheel at around 20 PSI. So we were, we were going good and then this happened. So who knows, guys? I think I am going to have to wrap this one at this point. And we will be back soon, starting to tear this apart. Um, throw me a, a thumbs up, because I certainly need it right now. This is pretty disheartening 
to have to deal with this. I, I was really hoping to battle the STI. We had plans to go next week to do that at the racetrack. And now this is going to be a huge major setback. So thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, give me a couple thumbs up. Maybe think about subscribing. But wait, there is more. We wanted to, you know, take a day to decompress with all that sad news. Yeah. And uh, bring it back to the shop. And, um, you know, just think about it a little bit more as yeah. to what just happened. Because after a little bit of deliberation, we're still leaning very much so towards the head gasket. Yeah, it's pretty it's clear. Especially that like after happened. watching that video over and over again, mm -hmm. I realized that you can see the coolant coming out the side at the end and the sparks and everything coming out it is unfortunately the, the combustion cycle being spit out the side. Yeah. And that's not a good thing, DP. No, it isn't. Yeah, I spoke with Andre from HB Academy, who, by the way, I should say up front, this is in no way their fault. We built the engine our way and we chose not to deck the, the deck yeah, the block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted and to get that In their that video sure, series, yeah. they very clearly say, deck the head in the block so you get a good seal. Our machinist said, oh, we'll be okay without doing that. And we took our machinist's advice. That may be what bit us. We don't know yet. But I do want to be clear that this is a no HP Academy's fault. In their course, it very clearly says, machine boat surfaces so you get a good seal. And we even sent pictures to Andre while we were building the motor because Pete noticed there was a bit of light pitting on the deck. Yeah. And Andre was like, you guys should deck it. And we decided to go ahead with it anyway. Just well, because the machinist said, yeah, the exactly. machinist was yeah. you know, pretty adamant. He's like, yeah. I wouldn't deck this. This block looks fine. It's all true. Yeah. And you know, Andre's words are always, don't trust your machinist. Yes, he hasn't and had think, a lot of luck with you know, machinists. And... We unfortunately have learned that lesson the hard way. And that's Perhaps. what we suspect Perhaps. happened here, yeah. here is just there wasn't a good seal. I mean, the other options are, we didn't install the head studs correctly. Yeah. So one of them came loose. It wasn't it wasn't sealing in that corner because it does look like it's the number four side that lifted, lifted on that yeah. side. You can yeah. see there's a bit of coolant running out that area. Mm -hmm. So it's you possible. know, and that's where all the, the carnage, the flame happened. Yeah. The the downside is, you know, with that kind of temperature, you usually do melt a little bit of the, the cylinder head. It's aluminum yeah. and it can even wear into the block. So we yeah. may be into having to replace the block and the head, yeah. which would be a real bummer. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that's just, that's unfortunate. This is how, how you goes. learn things, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. this yeah. is the first uh, fully built engine that we've done on our own. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, clearly we've either made some bad decisions about the machining yeah. or we made a mistake assembling it. Yeah. But I mean, we were using ARP head bolts. Yeah. We followed their instructions very carefully. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the more likely explanation is either the deck wasn't truly flat or that pitting maybe bit us and it didn't allow the gasket to seal properly. But you guys will find out with us as we take this apart and do the best sort of like forensic analysis For we sure. can on it. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. do want to know why it happened so that we can prevent it from happening again. Of course. And I think <laughs> I'm going to caution myself because I want you guys to post in the comments what you think happened. Mm -hmm. I'm sure some of you have seen something like this before, so we're eager to hear about it. I know a lot, like I've already uh, posted some stuff on Instagram and people were like, oh, it's the, the rods or, you know, like rod knock and whatnot. It's like, no, 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 no. we didn't ventilate the block. Yeah. This, like, b the, the engine turns over. It seems like everything is working. So yeah. we've put together a good engine in that sense. Yeah. It's just somewhere along between the, the head and the block, there was an issue. It was a bad so, seal there. But yeah, yeah the bottom yeah. end, like when we broke this motor on the street, it felt great. It was revving out beautifully. Mm -hmm. And even on the dyno, it sounded and, and you know, you could hear it yeah. was running great. So yeah. this is, I think, yeah. strictly a head gasket failure. And yep. why it failed is why, what we need to determine because it shouldn't blow out at 1920 PSI. No, no. With it, this kind of a setup. It really so. shouldn't. And I've pulled a spark plug out on number four. It is wet. Yeah, for sure. I can smell the coolant. I can feel the coolant. So there is, you know, again, more evidence leading towards that. The way the engine cranks over, uh, you can't heat it just doesn't sound like it's making any compression. It's pretty light and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So like all signs point to a head gasket. If all things go well, there's no damage on the head, there's no damage on the block, then we just get away with replacing a head gasket. Maybe and, although do we trust the deck at this well, point? Well that's the thing. So the, machine that you know, first? and that's where like we need what to turn, if, tear the motor down to machine the deck. Yep, yeah. There's so getaways those are, that you can machine the deck without taking oh, the engine man, apart. But do you really like with all the components we've put in, all the time we put yeah, in, do we want to yeah, yeah, do like a yeah. ghetto resealing? Yeah, I think yeah, probably yeah. not. And so. you know, time-wise, like we're always rushing here. We're, we're we've got a, a tough schedule to keep up with for YouTube and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I've been considering, well, you know, why don't we just turn to MA Performance? Yeah. They have 
short blocks and long blocks that you can buy from them. Yeah. And that might be just a quick like re and re and we can get this Evo STI battle done versus us having to go through, like tear this whole thing apart, you know, send it off. If we need a new block, then it's like even more tempting yeah. to, uh, to, to just, yeah. just go that way just yeah. because of time and whatnot. So, I mean, I'd love to rebuild it or at least, I mean, we're going to tear it apart regardless, yeah. but I'd yeah. love to rebuild it and make it run well eventually. Mm -hmm. Maybe it won't be in this car, maybe it'll be in another car, Who knows, depending right? on yeah, whether we yeah, go like the yeah. MA performance route. But yeah. I'd personally love to get the bottom of it just for the satisfaction of knowing that, okay, mm -hmm. we can build a motor that'll stay together. For sure. We yeah. just need to do the right things, which yeah. probably include decking the head and blocks. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like uh, again, it's a good lesson learned. Just really, if you're following instructions, you're, you know, listen to the professionals. We <laughs> thought our machinist was, you know, like, it's weird because when you talk to people face to face, they're very convincing. Yeah. And yeah. we, you know, we had that conversation and, we he, and I think that's where we were like, okay, well, why, why go there? Yeah. You know, so let's just leave it as is. And yeah. I, I mean, his theory of not uh, overboring the cylinders played out well for us because it yes. meant we could use stock bore pistons. Yep. We could use stock clearance bearings everywhere too. So it made assembling the short block really quite yeah. easy. And I yep. think that's why we have a nice, nicely sort of short block yep but by not decking the block I think yeah, yeah. and andre did, did say he did say that multiple these times. four g six threes are notorious yeah for lifting head gaskets if the mating surfaces aren't true yeah. we were using a mls head gasket too yeah so that needs to be a very very true surface to mm -hmm. mate that properly so mm -hmm. all in all anyways we're, we're speculating here exactly. we don't know yeah. exactly what's happened so there are going to be <laughs> there is going to be at least one video following up when we, we tear this thing down and look at it because we're as anxious to show you guys as I'm sure you guys are to see what happens. So once again, I think that uh, that's it. We're gonna wrap this one here. Thank you so much. Welcome for a good fail, Internet. We know yeah, you love a yeah, good yeah. fail. So, so uh, we don't wanna do this too often though, do we? No, no, no. It's really, it, it is disheartening and you know it, it hurts when, when something like this happens because yeah. I was just so pumped to go have yeah, that battle. Too, like it was, oh, it was all coming together so yeah. well and then this minor setback, but uh, you probably know. be a month before we can do it. But we, who we knows? Have, yeah, we have, yeah. A, we have at least two, two and a half good months of weather left here. So yeah, hopefully yeah. our stars align. Yeah, and we can we'll, still do we're going to try to get this thing back together as quickly as possible, guys. Yeah.